thanks for joining us um, today for prayer time with God. We want to believe that you were blessed in our last section, and we want to believe God again for a new kind of blessing for you. Today we are going to talk about the healings, testimonies on healings. As we all sit here, we all have testimonies, one way or the other, in our bodies, in our homes, marriages, in our finances, and in every other areas of our lives that God has healed us. And we want to testify, we want to talk about it so that it can be a blessing to you. Because we are not ignorant of the devices of the wicked. We know that the enemy has talked a lot of people down, especially those of the household of faith. A lot of people think they are not healed. Even after they've been preached to, they've been ministered to, they've been prayed on, they've been prayed for, hands have been laid on them. In them, they know they are healed. But the enemy keep talking them down, keep telling them that they are not healed, keep showing them symptoms, keep pointing the symptoms in their body on them or to them. But today, we are here to tell you our testimonies. Amen. Hallelujah. We have women of God in the house today. We have our sister, Pastor Maxine Richards. We have Reverend Mercy Bankefa. We have Pastor Joyce Kelly Stevens. And we have Pastor Rose Anderson Mephos. These women of God have their testimonies in different ways that God has touched their lives. And you're going to be hearing that today. And I strongly believe that as you go and flow along with us, there is no sickness in your body that will resist these testimonies. Amen. For the Bible Amen. says we overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb Amen. and by the words of our testimonies. Amen. And as you hear these testimonies today, Amen. I don't care for how long that ailment has been in your body. I don't care for you know, how, how long it has, it has been with you. But today, it will bow to that name that is greater than every other name, the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. For the Bible Amen. says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, yes. and every tongue shall confess that Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Therefore, whatever it is that has resisted good health, joy of the Lord in your heart, in your life, today they are bowing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before we continue, we are going to call our sister to pray for us and usher in the power of the Most High God. Amen. We call on Reverend Mercy to say a word of prayer. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Mm. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time. Amen. We thank you because you are the Lord who changeth not. Thank you because you walk upon this earth, going about doing good touching, healing the sick, and bringing deliverance to many. And the same spirit you left for the church to do likewise. Tonight, oh God, we are living testimony of that same power that has either healed us, healed our family, or healed our loved ones. And we have come through this air, oh God, to be a blessing to so many who are hopeless, mm. to bring hope to them, Amen. that they might receive your touch, Amen. just like that woman with the issue of blood that pressed through every circumstances mm. and until, they receive their, until she received a miracle. Mm. So tonight, today, oh God, I pray yes. that Lord, through us and by the power of the Holy Spirit, that everyone at the voice of this telecast we receive a touch and be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, the Bible says, He personally bore our sins in his own body. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. As on an altar, and he offered himself on it that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. 
by his wounds, mm -hmm. you have been healed. Amen. You have been healed. Amen. That's a past tense. You have been healed. Amen. So even before you came to Christ, even before you came to the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, that healing has been made available for you. Amen. That healing has been made available for you. Amen. So if you are at the sound of my voice this morning or whatever time it is in your own region, I want to assure you that the, 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 the price of whatever you bear in your body right now has been paid for. Amen. All you need to do is to just connect. Amen. Just stretch your faith Amen. and connect to that power Amen. because he has paid the price for you. Amen. He has laid down his life on the altar yes. and paid every price Amen. for your healing. Yes. So receive that healing today in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we're going to call our sister, Pastor Rose, because she has a testimony that touched my life. When I heard her testimony, I said, really? That means nothing, not even headache is permitted to stay in my body. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we'll hear her testimony. Pastor Rose. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you out there might be going through sickness in your body ailments in your body, but I want you to know that God is a healer. Mm, he hallelujah. is a deliverer hallelujah. and he will set you free. Amen. I had a condition where they had given me medication and the doctors had told me that I was going to have to take that medication for the rest of my life. Mm. And I've been a child of God. I've been in the Lord all my life. The enemy has nothing that I want. Uh, mm. So when the doctors told me that I was going to have to take this medication for the rest of my life, I believe in God as my healer and my deliverer. Mm. And I don't look to the devil for nothing. Mm. So when they said you're going to have to take this medication for the rest of your life, I'm believing in God and trusting in God. And I know I'm not going to have to take this medication for the rest of my life. Mm. So I took the medication for maybe a few weeks and I put this medication down. And when I put the medication down, I started having headaches. I was not able to eat anything. I was not able to sleep. And this happened for 30 days. Mm. But I claimed my healing in the name of Jesus. I said, I am not going to take this medication. I am healed by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. By his stripes, I am healed. Mm. And I stood on the word of God that by his stripes, I'm healed. Mm. My standing on the word of God for 30 days. And after 30 days, the enemy had to loose his hold mm. off of me because Hallelujah. I did not turn back to the medication. I did not receive what was given to me that I was going to have to take that medication. Mm. I'm not telling you not to take your medication. I'm not telling you to do what I did because your faith might not be there. But I am telling you that if you trust in God mm. and believe in God for your healing and for your deliverance, mm. if you are a child of God mm. and you are led by the Holy Spirit to put the medication down, then you should trust in God. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you are not a child of God and you are taking medication, mm. hallelujah. Praise God. I would not tell you to put down the medication because I am not God. Mm. Amen. But you yourself, if you choose to take down, to put down the medication, that's another thing and trust in God. Amen. But I do know that for a child of God, greater is he that is in you. You have the most powerful gift on this earth, the anointing and the Holy Spirit in your life that lead and guide and direct you mm. is most precious. Mm. That is why people say it is costly. Mm. The gift of the Holy Spirit, it caused our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ something to give up his life. Mm. For us, mm. someone that had not sinned, mm. did no sin, mm. but he did it for us. 
Mm. Sinners on this earth that we might have a right to the tree of life. Mm. So if you trust in God and have faith in God, this is what he's trying to get us to do. Just believe in him. Amen. Trust in him mm. and have faith in him. Mm. And God will do what he asks us to do. Amen. He said, ask and it shall be given. Amen. We have not because we ask not. Mm. Ask God and he will do it for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? Amen. Ask God and he will do it for you. If you have stopped asking, ask one more time. Amen. If you have stopped knocking, knock one more time. Amen. If you have stopped seeking, seek one more time. Amen. Because he's ever faithful to do what he has promised. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's hear from Pastor Joyce. When I heard your testimony about the brain tumor, oh my goodness, it gave me more faith. Mm -hmm. It increased my anointing to trust God the more. Mm -hmm. Let's hear from you, ma'am. Okay, praise God. Hallelujah. Um, healing is a topic that I can really speak on simply because I've been through very much. And as a child, I was diagnosed uh, in junior high school with a hereditary bone disease, osteochromodromatosis, very chronic pain, praise God. I've had three surgeries on the left ankle, two surgeries on the left knee, two surgeries on the right knee, mm. a surgery on the right wrist for the bone disease. Didn't know how I was going to make it. I had many crippling days. The doctors told my mother I'd be crippled as a teenager. Mm. Praise God, I have some crippling days. Praise God, I have some troubled days. But to God be the glory. I didn't come in here with a cane today. I didn't come in here on a wheelchair today. I came in walking in with my beautiful sisters mm. on today. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And I thank God for that. And then... In 97, I was diagnosed with a very evasive type of breast cancer. So if I'm not mistaken, in August, it would be 20 years mm. that I'm I breast wish. cancer free Eli or 21. Uh, uh, but I praise God for that I because be being that it was very evasive, of the evasive type. Mm. It could have spread it everywhere. Mm. Being a gospel singer, mm. going from church to church, mm. testifying about God's goodness mm. and Hallelujah. telling people about how I wasn't going to let uh, the enemy take nothing from me because he didn't give me my body parts, so he can't have my body mm. parts, praise mm. God. And I was uh, steadfast and firm on that belief. Mm. I meant every word of it. And I was mm. saying that and saying that at this church and that church and that church mm. and this church may have even been at one of you all churches mm. but let me tell you something it came a time to where it had gotten so bad mm. to one evening coming in from Pomona at, mm. uh, singing at a uh, mother Jackson's church in mm. Pomona praise God Amen. and and what had happened was very devastating to me glory be to God hallelujah, hallelujah. and to see the blood that I was seeing glory be to mm. God and I made a call because I was afraid praise God mm. and it was like uh, no you can't wait anymore you need to go go back to the doctor well, I went to the doctor. The doctors told me that there was nothing that they could do. It was time. You need to have your breasts removed. Mm. And I was just devastated because, you know, I used to have that Coca-Cola body shape. I used to be real small and plot out as what the world would say. Hallelujah. Mm. But I tell you what. It came a time where I had to do what the doctor said I needed to do because your healing may not be my healing. Mm. My healing may not be her healing. Mm. But let me tell you, God has a way of healing you. Mm. I was wondering, why did they have to do it this way for me? Well, because somebody needs to know that although your breasts may have to be taken, hallelujah, you still will be the beautiful woman that God made you to be. Yes. You still can hold your head up high. You still can be loved by a man. Mm. And more so than that, Jesus loves you even the more. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And then in 201, I had gotten very deathly sick. I was having these seizures that I didn't know I was having. I thought I was having anxiety attacks. But lo and behold, they discovered I had a cantaloupe size, not an orange size or a lemon size or a golf ball size. I'm talking cantaloupe size tumor mm. that was so huge that everything on the right side of my brain had pushed over, pushed everything to mm. the left side of my brain. Mm. 
and I would get sick. A, a smell would pass me by. And as soon as that smell of death, I could smell death to where I wouldn't let anybody say bye to me because mm. bye was too final for me. I wasn't ready. God wasn't ready. First and foremost, he's the author and the finisher of our fate. Amen. Mm. And so I tell you, I was just being sick and sick and I knew one foot was in the grave and one was on the land. Mm. But I tell you what, they told me that I was going to have to go and admit myself right away because they found a shadow over my brain. Mm. I'm like, shadow? What's a shadow? Well, it was that, it was that big old cantaloupe-sized tumor. My father had just passed, so I didn't get to go to his, his home going because the morning they was putting him to rest was the same morning that they were getting ready to do my surgery on the brain. But I want you to mm. know, they Kalabusha. spoke Kalabusha. to my husband, to my children, to my mother, to my siblings, to my prayer partners, everybody there, just like the doctor said I would be crippled as a teenager, they said that I would be a vegetable, not clean myself, not feed myself, not clothe myself, not do anything for myself. Do it look like I need some help right here, right no. now? Hallelujah. Amen. I think not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not in the wheelchair foaming at the mouth. Glory be to God because mm. God had another plan for me. Yeah. But I tell you what, they got that uh, tumor and that tumor wasn't only but a tumor. It was 85% cancerous. Mm. Praise God. Oh, Jesus. I know some people oh. that even after me being diagnosed with cancer in the breast, cancer in the uterus or the cervix or whatever, Hallelujah. That didn't last six months, glory be to God. But yet God still has me here for such a time as this so that I can speak into your life Hallelujah. and let you know God is able. Amen. If you would only but trust him to do it, he will do it for Amen. you. If he did it for me, he'll do it for you because my God, our God, their God, your God is no respecter of person. person. He will and he can and he is able to deliver you. So I tell you, and as she spoke on the 30, hallelujah, the 30 days for her, and I'm going to close out with this. It was 30 straight years from the hereditary bone disease. I took Tylenol Codeine's number threes. Mm. Hallelujah. 30 straight years. Mm. And for me not to be addicted, and even with the tumor, for me to have some faculties of my mind, mm. Glory be to God. That's nobody but God's hand stretching down, touching me day to day. Hallelujah. He touches me every day because without his touch, I know I would be crazy and loony. But God said, not so. I have work for you to do, my daughter, my beloved. Hallelujah. And I tell you, I am so ready. I say, here am I, Lord. Use me. Use me for your glory. Use me for your service. For I belong to you. Amen. Thank you so very much. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Why she was all up and down doing the work of God. Mm -hmm. The enemy still had the nerves. But I tell you something. He said he's a rewarder yeah. of them that diligently yeah. seek him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God was able to be there for her yeah. and delivered her from all her oppression. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Thank Jesus. You, Hallelujah. We're going to hear from Pastor Maxine Richards. Hallelujah. You talked about um, free from cancer when we were talking yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I want you to tell our viewers how God healed you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I was uh, diagnosed uh, in 1996 with uh, cancer. And... I was thinking to myself, I can't survive this. This is like a death sentence. But the word of God said, the sickness is not unto death. Mm. And I just started talking to God all the time, mm. spending time with him. And he told me to get in the word and stay in the word. Your mm. healing is coming through the word. Mm. I said, God, that's powerful. I'm going to get healed from just being in the word. So all I want to do is eat, sleep, and drink the word of God. It was like an addiction for me. Hallelujah. You know, I had to have it. I had to have it mm. because he uh, gave me this prophetic revelation that the word of God is medicine to all mm. your flesh. Yeah. There is nothing that it won't heal and mm. cannot heal. Amen. So uh, this is why he said, in all that ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. So, you know, no matter what we're facing, no matter what we go through, uh, we go to God in prayer. Mm. And, and I said, well, God, so one day I was just sitting at home, and I, I'm sorry, 
I got up, I was walking across the floor, and the Holy Spirit said to me, uh, there's nothing the doctor can do for you that I can't. Oh my yeah. God. I'm like, oh my Hallelujah. God. So I stopped going to the doctor. Uh, they were calling me, making appointments. I wouldn't even return the calls. Mm. And I said, well, God, I saw the red light. Stop. Mm. I don't need to go. I don't even need them. Because when they did what they did to me in the beginning before God, you know, revealed these things to me and began speaking to me, they had uh, experimented on me, and I didn't know it. So God told me, you know, that the doctors experimented on you. They messed up my lungs. They mm. were so messed up I could barely breathe. And... Mm. It was like uh, they put radiation inside of my body, mm. inside of my body, mm -hmm. and my body was like somebody had put a torch or whatever and set it on fire inside. Every day I would just be burning and burning and in misery, and I never knew it until the Holy Spirit spoke to me and told me what they did, and God said, I'm going to heal your lungs. I'm going to make everything new in you, and I said, wow, to God be the glory. Amen. So. And, and even in that, you know, I tell people all the time, you know, uh, you know, God spoke that to me twice, that there's nothing the doctor can do for you that I can't. Mm. So cause one day I was just sitting at home thinking, thinking to myself mm. uh, about things I was facing and going through, and he spoke to me again. There's nothing the doctor can do for you that mm. I can't. Mm. And even in all of that, you know, uh, the enemy threw me down some stairs and broke my ankle, broke my wrist, mm. and... Even in that, God said the enemy tried to take you down, but I'm going to take you up, mm, up, up. Hallelujah. So I know God to be a healer. I know him to be a restorer. Hallelujah. I know him to be a way maker. Amen. I know him to be who he say he mm. is because he is the great physician. He is the God that healeth yeah. thee. And he said he sent his word and his word healed them. Yeah. So he would send his word to whomever and heal you. Amen. And I thank God and praise God. He said he was wounded for our transgression. Yes. He was bruised for our iniquities. Yes. And the chastisement of our peace is upon him. Yes. And yes. with his stripes yes. we are yes. healed. Yes. Because he paid the price for everything that we stand in need of. Right. Way back on Calvary over 2,000 years ago. Uh, to be healed, to be whole, to be oh, made free, yes. to be delivered. Yes. He paid the price already. Yes. And I thank God and praise yes. God. It is the power of the spoken word, he said. When we going through things and facing things, we speak his word and we stand on the word because he said when his word go forth out into the atmosphere, of the hemisphere, and the stratosphere, his word would not return unto him void. His word will accomplish that which he sent it to do, and it will prosper in that thing. So when I broke my ankle, broke my wrist, uh, broke my right ankle, broke my left wrist, so all I could do was lay in the bed and, and do nothing. And... and here, I'm in this health care facility, um, facility for four long months, and um, I can do nothing but lay in the bed, but he would send people into the room for me to pray for them and minister to them. So that was a blessing. Mm. I was blessed by him sending me there, but I told him he didn't have to allow the enemy to do what he did. Amen. But God knows all things. Mm. Everything is for a reason. Amen. So I just thank God and praise God, and I give him all honor and all glory for all the things that I've had to endure because it's always for us to reach out to help somebody else, to encourage somebody else, to edify somebody else, to build them up, and to let them know that God is your source Amen. no matter what Amen. you're facing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow, 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 wow. Amen. This is so powerful. God Amen. is your source. God Amen. is your healer. Amen. He's your restorer. Amen. He's your deliverer. Amen. He's your transformer. Amen. He's everything Amen. to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I know we have viewers who right now, you know, they desire to be prayed for. Mm -hmm. mm. They have something in their body that needs to lift them. They are not pretending about the pain. They are not pretending that nobody pretends to have pain. Yeah. Nobody pretends to be sick. But they need help and they need the touch of God right now. We are going to, going to talk, call our sister, Reverend Mercy. I have known this woman to be a woman of prayer. And I have also experienced personally, you know, myself from her prayers. When she has prayed, I have also received answers from God through her prayers for me personally. And I know as she prays for our viewers right now, you're going to receive your healing. Amen. 
deliverance and healing is coming into your home. Yeah. It's going directly into the foundation of your marriage. Yeah. And it's rooting out every plant that my heavenly father has not planted. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, Reverend Mercy. I want us to stretch our hands. Yes, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Every into every life. Life. Yes, Lord. Ilarado Shota. Ikala Rodo Supa Kataya Daba. Legades. Yelebo Shakataya. No matter what disease or infirmity. In the name of Jesus, Kalada Dobo Shata. Arrest it now. Legades. Malarado Scope de de Shata. I cause you to die in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. From your roots, every to, to from your roots in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Every diabetes, I speak to you by the authority of the name of Jesus. Go in Jesus' name. Every soul, go in the name of Jesus. Every womb that needs a baby, receive it. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every barrenness, receive fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. 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 I speak healing to every Hallelujah. broken yes, home. Lord, in the name I of say Jesus. restoration to Amen. your home. Hallelujah. I say restoration to your Hallelujah. marriage. Hallelujah. I say Hallelujah. restoration Hallelujah. to your relationship with your Jesus. children. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I call Lord. your children back yes, home. In the, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I say speak the word of the Lord in unto the their mind Jesus. to be renewed. In the name of Jesus. Yes, you drug addiction. In the I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. I say receive the power of God to overcome. Yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We receive with us, yes, Lord. Blessed be your holy Hallelujah. name in Bless Jesus' you. mighty name, amen. 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 amen, amen. In Isaiah 65, verse 24, the Bible says, And it shall be that before they call, yes. I will answer, yes. and while they are yet speaking, yes. I will hear. Yes. While yeah, they are yet speaking, I will hear. Mm -hmm. Don't ever accept any lie of the devil. Yeah. God loves you. Yeah. And he does not resent helping you. Yeah. He's not frustrated when he helps you. Yeah. God is not bipolar. Yeah. He does not say something and do something else. Right. He is right. faithful to his word. Yeah. Hold on to the yeah. word of God. Yeah. And victory Amen. shall be yours. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, ma'am, for coming. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord.